What's going on guys? It's your boy the Real AST and I'm back with another Let's Play episode. This is episode 5 of my Minecraft adventure here on my Xbox 360. In the last episode we left off. We had done a little a little landscaping out there on the fences and since then we've cleared up that, that cliff side and made it look more more like the terrain that it was before we, we cleared the area. Doing a little landscaping down here on the property, and we did the cobblestone and the lumber mill. Now, I said we were going to do a slaughterhouse, and we run over here real quick because we've actually started the slaughterhouse and got the entire thing done. We just run into a couple snags, uh, got the outside, and got everything built pretty much all the way down to the smokestack that actually smokes. It looks pretty sweet. But let me run up here and show you what we have. We have a simple slaughterhouse with two sections. And get down, piggy. All right, so we have the pigs, we have the cows trapped inside. And we have these pistons back here with water. And we have pistons on these fence rails. And we also have pistons on this, this row of dirt, the last row of dirt. So what happens is I've got your betch in here. What's up, Corey? Hey. Oh. And she's downstairs, and I need to put a switch somewhere up here, but for now, we just have the switch down there. So, let me see here if I can jump up and you guys can get a look at this. If she hits the, the switch right now, you're going to see the fences come up, and it's going to trap the animals I want to keep for breeding. The rest of the animals are going to get pushed into the troughs on the end, as they, they just did. And they're going to take the series of troughs down in here and they're going to get pushed all the way to the end. Now I had nether rack here but what would happen is the animals would sit up there until they caught fire and then they would simply um, jump down and they would extinguish themselves. So they weren't they weren't being uh, they weren't being killed with the fire and it wasn't leaving us cooked steaks. So I put in this, this little switch right here this controls that back piston, and that would push them forward. And then if I take this lever off and I put a uh, button on it, when I push the button, it activates this timer, and it actually pushes these two blocks closed, which smush the animal right up to the point where they're almost ready to die, and then they can be ignited, and they will actually leave steaks, uh, cook steaks behind. So let me put this here, and I'll show you how it works manually. So it pushes it, and then what happens is you just light them on fire, and they cook the rest of the way and die, and then they leave the cooked steak. Well, the update hasn't happened. I play on the PC, and I play on the Xbox, and the Xbox update hasn't happened, so dispensers do not dispense flame or water source blocks. So there's no way to, to, self, there's no way to automatically ignite the never rack. You have to do it all manually. That wasn't the goal that I was trying to reach with this slaughterhouse. So until I figure something else out, this is actually on hold. Uh, if you guys have any ideas or whatever, feel free to shoot them to me. And leave me a comment or a video response on how you think I can I can fix that. And I'll look into it. If it's not jumping through too many hoops, I might put it in. But for now, we're just going to put it on hold and we're going to work on something else while I try to rack my brain and figure something out. Uh, looks like she's trying to beat me inside. Let me go ahead and oh, and I win. Uh, I win with some food. I wasn't really paying attention. I was putting stuff away. Uh huh. Uh huh. We have the wall of shame still, and everybody has been pretty lucky, except for over here, dead Nas. Uh, Nas a took a took a slashing by a zombie, and over here, dead tried to swim in some lava. So. They're already up on the board. Everybody else has got the double donuts, and we're pretty proud playing hardcore and not dying. We made it through through four episodes. This will be the fifth episode. Hopefully, I won't die while doing this. But uh, we put in the potion brewing station, uh, as I said we were going to do after we came back from the nether. So we've been brewing some potions up, and I'm probably going to bring a survival guide episode on brewing. I think I pretty much got it down. I, I know how to make the potions and how to extend the effects and make them uh make them more powerful 
We've also put in this. This right here is the nether wart farm. And contrary to what we said in episode three, I had asked Silence if you could grow nether wart in the overworld. Apparently you can on the PC. However, the update hasn't taken place yet for you to do it on the Xbox. So we basically just got the farm in here right now and we will we'll update the farm and, and show you how it works when the new Xbox update happens that allows Nether War to grow in the overworld. And that'll also fix the problem with the dispensers back there because right now they just simply dispense buckets of water. They do not drop source blocks of water like they should. So when I hit that button, you know, ideally the Nether War should be all fully grown. I hit the button, the water pops out of the dispensers, flushes it all out these canals, and we have nether wart but that doesn't work either it's kind of the same situation we're having with the uh, slaughterhouse let me take the minecart downstairs and i'll show you what we've got going on down here uh, we've cleared out a lot of the mine we have this little area pending for chickens right now we're collecting eggs for the aviary that we're getting ready to build we're going to build a kfc up in this biatch and hopefully that should work a lot better than the slaughterhouse because chickens actually do burn to death when you set them on fire with um, nether rack. So I grabbed up these eggs and show you around the rest of this. We have cleared out a lot of the mine. We're still doing the basic branch mining method. We got a little spot over here for trees. We're getting plenty of slime down here. I can hear the slime bouncing around. I think they're up above us. Oh, they're over here. But, oh, they're over, they're over there by Betch. But we've got um, this area cleared out. We're going to put a mushroom farm in. Oh, there is a sign up there. We sealed off a lot of this. There's still a couple areas that we need to patch in so bad guys don't just drop in on us. But we're going to put a mushroom farm in here. We're going to put an automated wheat farm in here. And we're going to do a couple other little things right here in the base of the mine just because... When you get that, that central location in the mine that everybody starts out at or goes to, it makes it nice It makes it nice to have wood and to have... Oh my gosh, what do you have? I have an army of slime. Do you have an army of slime? It looks <laughs> like a bunch a of school army. boogers jumping around you. You know what I'm going to do to your army? To Kill them all! Ah. I totally... Look at this one. He thinks he's slick. So much slime, so much XP. Yeah. Oh, give me all that Oops. XP. I knocked out a torch. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Replace the torch, woman, before the zombies come and get us. Done. But that's pretty much what we have so far. Um, I just wanted to quickly go over, you know, what we've been doing with the solder house and where we're at. Uh, we have ran into this thing where we're trying to explore nether portals and how to use the nether as a quick way to get from point A to point B in the overworld. And I think we figured it out, and what we'll probably do is we'll probably come back on the next episode and maybe go over what we've done and how we've used the portals to get from one place to another. I know that there's a formula between the nether and the overworld that you can use to put portals in one place and get them to bring you out somewhere else on the map by using a different portal inside the nether. So we'll probably go over that as well. And I, I might go ahead and do a survival guide issue um, on nether portals and, and how to use that to your advantage. But really I just wanted to check in with you guys and show you what we've been doing. And I'm going to go grab a few more of these eggs. We're going to work on a little bit more down here in the mine. We're going to work on a couple other things with the nether. And we'll bring it to you in the next episode. It's your boy. And that's your batch. <laughs> it's been real. See ya. Peace.